All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, we know, as I said earlier, that the IRS has targeted conservative groups, and we can only hope that we get to the bottom of that one day. But is the IRS now going after law professors who educate our college students on the Constitution? Are there, is there intimidation going on of some sort? Let's uh, go to the source. Nicholas Quinn Rosencrantz, law professor at Georgetown University Law Center, and he's also senior fellow uh, in Constitutional Studies at the Cato Institute, joins us. Hello, Nicholas. Thank Happy you to be with you. In. Thank you. So, w w tell us, because this is um, astounding, if true, what, 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 what uh, prompts you to, uh, to come to this conclusion or suspect what you suspect? Well, it's not a matter of suspicion. This is in the Inspector General's report uh, auditing what the IRS has been up to. This is just a dimension of the story that hasn't gotten a lot of attention. But So everyone is aware now of the IRS targeting Tea Party organizations, but the Inspector General reports that the Tea Party was also targeting those who were whose mission statement was educating about the U.S. Constitution and Bill of Rights. And and you feel this is an intimidation uh, uh, ploy on their part to uh, make sure that they don't say anything that the IRS wouldn't like or the uh, what or the political spat you know uh, uh, left wouldn't like. Well, it's hard to know quite what the mindset was that came up with this idea. But so the IRS was looking through these organizations' application to become. 501c3 or 501c4 organizations, and they were to, quote, be on the lookout for folks whose mission statement was education. It's quite shocking. So It is, it is quite shocking. Now, uh, have they found any uh, smoking gun emails as far as, you know, uh, targeting certain uh, law professors as opposed to others who could, we can then trace back their political uh, leaning or bent? Now, to be clear, this is not targeting of law professors. Okay. So what this is, is it's targeting of organizations whose mission statement is constitutional education. Okay. So it's these grassroots organizations in okay. you know, Tennessee or Pennsylvania or wherever that want to create an organization whose job is going to be, in part, educating about the Constitution. And the IRS said, we have to be on the lookout for organizations like that, okay. in the same way that they were on the lookout for Tea Party organizations. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, absolutely. So in their minds, it appears that that falls under the same heading. It encompasses all the uh, aforementioned groups. It, uh, it seems like it does. And, and what are the ramifications of this? Well, you know, the, uh, it's uh, relatively easy to understand the mindset of the official who thought to target the Tea Party. Tea Party's viewed with suspicion in certain quarters, as you know, but to decide to target the educators of the U.S. Constitution is really quite shocking because, you know, everybody's really on the side of the U.S. Constitution. And Although in, our president has called it a flawed document in he, the past. He yeah. has, he has. But, you know, the IRS officials, who, whoever it is who made this decision, is someone who swore an oath to uphold the U.S. Constitution and who thought actually we should be on the lookout for organizations that want to um, educate about it. As a, uh, a, a, a professor uh, at Georgetown, in your capacity and with the Cato Institute, uh, when, you, when you add this to the mix of what has been out there in the public, how alarmed are you? I mean, how alarmed should we all be? What does this signal to you? Where, where, where is our government heading if it's, if it's allowed to continue to go in, in the direction that it's been going in apparently for quite some time. Well, I do think it's very troubling. So the Constitution, I, I view this all through a constitutional sure. lens. The constitutional clause at issue is in Article 2, the president is obliged, required to take care that the laws be faithfully executed. And in my view, the core of that idea, the core of faithful execution is execution without discrimination not discriminating on insidious grounds. And here was the IRS uh, discriminating on the basis of political orientation, discriminating on the basis of, um, you know, desire to educate about the U.S. Constitution. Now, there's no evidence that President Obama gave this order personally, but the obligation in the Take Care Clause is supervisory, to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, not to execute them personally. So, you know, in a sense, what he knew and when he knew it is a bit beside the point. He should have known. Right. He should have been supervising his IRS. Uh, Eric Holder is leaving. Uh, Eric Holder appointed in the uh, the Lois Lerner matter a uh, Obama two-time Obama contributor mm. to investigate Obama. Mm. Doesn't look like we'll get anywhere with that. Mm. Uh, do you have any confidence that uh, the IRS will be held accountable or at least have to answer to the questions of why they have done what they have done with regard to the uh, Tea Party type groups and uh, what you point out here? 
Well, the House Judiciary Committee has been doing very important work in investigating this, and so I think it's great that they've been having their hearings and doing their investigation. I'm cautiously optimistic that they'll help us get to the bottom of this. And there's also a um, private lawsuit on behalf of several of these organizations, and the judge has been very good about you know, ordering the IRS to turn over relevant documents. So I think there is hope that we'll get to the bottom of this. Nicholas Quinn Rosencrantz, appreciate your time, and thanks for exposing this. Great to be with you. It's a very important issue. And uh, we will talk more about this, ladies and gentlemen, and many, many other important issues with the Malsberg panel, which is on deck, if you uh, stay right here, on Newsmax Television, The Steve Malsberg Show. Don't you go away.